Hello everybody, George Kenner. I'm sitting here in my office instead of being out in my workshop working on something because I bet you that's exactly where you are. You're in your office reviewing YouTubes, trying to find the best features and the best desktop laser for you. Now, I'm a strong advocate of you getting the best laser for the job, but I was recently at the ISA show in Orlando, Florida, and I saw all the machines compared. One of the machines that I saw was made by Eon Laser, and what it did was it brought almost all of the commercial tools that are in the much larger lasers into a desktop at an affordable price. Now, the way I want to start this is I'm going to be walking around the machine and I'm going to break down the features of this machine that really make a difference to me. Now, you'll see the openness and the open framework of what I'm going to call the laser box. This is vastly advantageous to the professional because if they've got to get in there to work on it in the future, it's absolutely possible to do. It's like working on a very old car. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the back of the machine. The Mira 5, at least the one that I reviewed, it comes with an RF tube. It's my understanding it also comes with a glass tube that has a docking port. So you can very easy or quickly, if it was necessary to replace the laser tube, and a laser tube replacement does happen, you know, over the years, it's literally a slide in or slide out issue. Okay, as the laser exits the tube, it hits a mirror. The mirror system is really relatively important and it's something that can fall out of whack or adjustment. If you had to replace a mirror, what Eon has done is made it so that if you can take a medicine cap off of a bottle, you can replace the mirror. Again, there's another animation for this. I know of no other company that does this. From the commercial perspective, the, the industrial user, he loves this type of thing because it diminishes the amount of manpower and time that goes into the adjustment of the mirrors. But it's certainly something to discuss or evaluate um, amongst yourselves or with your salesmen from any company. Now, inside the mirror system, the box inside this mirror, just like the larger commercial machines, has an accordion foil that keeps the smoke and debris out of the box. Again, cleaning your laser is a consideration. It takes time and energy. Who really wants to do that? It also could affect, over time, the quality of the engrave that you get. Let's talk about the laser head specifically the toolless removal of the head. Now, for the commercial user, they're going to love the time that they save from this. Time is money, they're paying a laser operator. The less time consumed by this, the better. For the new user, the ease of doing this and not having to learn how to take that head apart is phenomenal. This is something you probably really want to spend some time looking at. Let's combine three aspects of the mirror into basically one category. That is the bed size. How big a piece of material can you put into the machine? Does the machine that you're considering have a pass-through like the Mira 5? And can you put a 40 ounce tumbler in one of these machines? That's one of the most popular uses for a CO2 laser. Many commercial engravers are starting to go to a smaller machine that would have this capacity. With the Mira 5, you could do that as a hobbyist or expand even into the six roller system like many commercial people are. Let's talk a little bit about the program that is utilized to run this machine. A light burn is probably the most popular of all of the laser programs. It's not proprietary. It works on a wide variety of machines. A few years ago, I thoroughly researched buying my first CO2 laser. I went down to Melbourne, Florida to what Eon calls their showcase, where they have not only all of their machines, but many other manufacturers' machines. What I was most impressed about is Lec the engineer told me, just get the right tool for the job. All of these machines that you're going to review, and they were 
OMTEC, TROTEC, Epilogue, they're all there. The Boss, um, the Thunder, they were all there. I ended up buying the Miro 7. I've been very pleased with it. In the last couple of years, I haven't really seen very many advancements until I went to the ISA show and saw the new Mira 5 to the Supernova, which are now called Redline and Signature. They're phenomenal machines. No one else that I know of has the pullout optics, the mirror system, the um, docking station. I just don't know anyone that's doing that. The professionals were all very impressed. I think if you really research and were to make a flow chart and compare some of the latest things that are available in the industry to what others are offering, you may end up with an Eon because I think it's the right tool for the job. If I can help, please let me know. I have a Facebook group called Laser Freedom. I do not censor opinions. If you have an opinion different than me and think that another machine is better, Come on in, let's comment and uh, have a discussion. Thank you.